Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. When is enough enough? And I gotta tell you, I was offered, I was offered a Breguet Type 20 Erin Vale, that's the no date trans, the Erin the, the Vale, that's the no date Type 20 on a bracelet for under 5,000 Aussie. No box of papers, but a really nice clean example. thought to myself, what do I do? I really want it. I really, 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 really want it. I'm this close to being credit card debt free. And I got to be honest with you. I think I've turned a corner. Yes, I lost my mojo for two or three days because of this watch, because I'm in internal turmoil. Internal, because it's a, it's a good buy, it's a Breguet. I've got a mate of mine coming up from Sydney next week, 22nd I think, I'm seeing him. He's just bought a Breguet Type 20. He's the guy who bought it from the, um, the dealer in Melbourne. He's the one who bought it from the dealer in Melbourne. And I'm kind of thinking to myself, you know, hey, I'd really like a, um, I would love to have a Type 20. I would really love to have a Type 20. He's coming up and I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I had the bracelet version just to pip him a little bit? But what do you do? When do you say no? When do you say is enough enough? I mean, I've already got five good watches. We're in the IWC. We've already got five good watches. And do I need two chronographs? I've already got the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I've got a really nice, clean example box and papers. So what do I do? Do I sell the Breg Do I sell the Omega and buy the Breguet? And I really thought about it. I thought, ooh, I'd really love to get this Breguet. Absolutely killed my Moje. Knowing that there's a bargain out there, a bargain, a bargain, a bargain. And knowing there's a bargain out there, I really want it. I really, 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 really want it. But I gotta tell you the truth. When you are a friend in need, there's not many people who can help you if you've got a bills that come in or something goes wrong. I've got a little bit of an emergency emergency fund and I'm going to blow it on a on a Breguet. And I, I desperately would love to buy it. I would love to buy this Breguet. I would love to buy it. But I think I just, in my own mind, yeah, it's a bargain. Yes, 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 it's a bargain. But I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Sometimes you've got to man up and say, you can't afford it, can't afford it, sorry. I got enough watches. That's been a very hard thing for me to do because I love the wristwatches. I love wristwatches. I love beautiful watches. And to say, no, I can't afford it, really, really hurts. I love my Breguet. I really do. I love my Breguet. I love my Breguet. I love, I would love a Breguet. Sorry, I don't even own this Breguet. I'm already talking about it. I love a Breguet. I love Breguet. I would love a Breguet, but I really don't have the moolah, the money, the cash. And I, you gotta be, I gotta panic! I gotta panic! I gotta panic! What the hell am I looking for a Breguet for? I got a world time. What do I do? What do I do? Very, very tough. Indeed, it's very hard. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. I would love to buy that Breguet. I'd love it. I would absolutely love it. 
But sometimes enough is enough. I don't want to get into credit cards. Nasty. I, I, I kind of, you know, went on a crazy roll of the dice. I don't want to be there anymore. I don't want to be owing so much money. I want to have a little bit of a cash reserve for emergencies. I'd really like to cancel my credit card completely. But it's one of these things. What do you do? And uh, it's been a very, very tough time. I actually... My friend who put me onto this watch, I, he rang me. He just rang me. I got been inter interrupted about 10 times when I'm trying to make some videos. When I'm trying to get my mojo back. And I said, Scotty, I can't afford it. I can't afford it, Scotty. I can't afford it. I don't have the money. Very, very hard for me to admit it. What do you do? It is so much money. I mean, I thought I would stop when I got this IWC. That was supposed to be my exit watch. And this is what happens. I, I've, uh, that's why I don't scour around eBay or the watch dealers because I don't want to know. I don't want to know what's going on out there. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know about the bargains because I don't have the moolah to buy it even though I wanted it. So, um, yeah, that's, what I, that's the way I kind of feel about it. It's funny, sometimes you've got money and you want to buy a piece and you can't see any bargains. And then when you don't have money, you come across a bargain. Very, very tough indeed. It's very, very hard. It's, 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 it's kind of, you know, you, you, you just... You just... I don't know, it's very hard for me to explain. And, but I, I think I've turned a new corner when I've said, no, I can't afford it. I'm not going to buy it. I can't afford it. I'm not going to buy it. I can't afford it. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. I've already got a really nice chronograph. I've got the Omega Speedmaster. Man on the moon. What would you prefer, a man on the moon or a breguet? What do you reckon, guys? Come on, come on. Work with me, not against me. Work with me, not against me. What would you prefer? Tell me, tell me guys, work with me, not against me. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that.